Hi, everyone. The radius of a sphere is increasing at a rate proportional to its radius. So basically, it's increasing at a rate proportional to its radius. That should tell you we're setting up a differential equation. If the radius is 4 initially and the radius is 10 after 2 seconds, what will the radius be after 3 seconds? So basically, we're going to set up a, a differential equation with the appropriate lettering. So since we're talking about the radius, that's going to be derivative of r with respect to t equals kr. Now we're going to put all the terms that contain r on the left. So this is going to end up being um, dr divided by r, and then just move this uh, dt up here so you have um, k dt. Now we're going to integrate both sides. So when you integrate both sides, you get uh, um, dr over r equals k. We'll bring the k out dt. So basically, when you integrate this, you're going to get um, r equals, and this is going to be kt, because the deriv derivative, the antiderivative of dt is uh, t, plus c. And this is basically ln of r. Don't forget, I'm sorry about that. So basically... Um, we want to really solve in terms of r, so basically what you do is you're going to um, use exponentially each side. So you're going to get r equals e to the kt plus c. I can rewrite this as r equals e to the kt times e to the c. And we know that e to the c is just some constant. So I'm going to let that be C. So we have R equals C E to the KT. All right. So now uh, we need to solve for C and K. So we first solve for C by plugging in the information that the radius is 4 initially. So the, initially the radius was 4. So we get C, E, and initially that's K times 0. So this is just 0. Anything to the 0 is 1. So you get 4 equals C. So then we're going to write, uh, solve for K. So let's just write this out. So we have um, R equals uh, C is 4, E to the little kt power. Now, we're going to plug in the information that r is 10 when t is 2. So we're going to plug that in. So r is 10 when k is 2. Divide both sides by 4. So 10 over 4 reduces to 5 over 2. And that's going to equal e to the 2k. Now, to solve for k, let me write this on the next page. So we have um, 5 over 2 equals e to the 2k. And you just take, um, use your formula for ln, and this will be ln of 5 over 2 equals 2k. So ln of 5 over 2 equals k divided by 2, or you could just say, um, just multiply this through by one half, so put the one half here. All right, just multiplying through by one half. All right, now we have our final equation. Remember, we have r equals 4 e k to the t. So plug the k in now. r equals 4 e to the one-half times ln of five-halves t. Okay, we want our t, when our t is three, we're going to plug in the three, so we get r, we want t equal three, on the original uh, problem. 
So after three seconds, they want to know what the radius will be after three seconds. So we write this out, 4e to the 1 half ln of 5 halves times 3. And um, plugging that into your calculator, you get approximately 15.811. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.